Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Creation Depot. My name is Wendy Literal, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to get your Photoshop environment back if it looks like this, and all your toolbars, your panels, all that stuff has disappeared. You just gotta hit your tab key. <laughs> that is the quick answer, if your screen looks like this. There are other ways, and I'm gonna go over them further in the video, but if you're if it, if it looks like this, you've bumped your tab key. Just hit it again, it'll all come back. That's the quick answer, if you want a more useful answer, just stay tuned. All right, so I brought the toolbar back for this example, but I wanted to show you, like, if you're missing a specific panel, how to get that back. So, like, let's say our layers panel is just gone, and I'm going to say layers because that's the one everybody uses. So it's gone, I'm working here, and I don't have my layers panel. What do I do? The easy answer is you go up to Windows and you go down to Layers. Some of them, like, okay, that's the that brings it back. Um, but some of them, I want to point out, do have keyboard shortcuts. You can try to remember these. I've been working with Photoshop for like 20 years and I have yet to remember them. <laughs> um, but that's where they are. That's the quick way to get to them. And then if you want to like reposition it back with something else, you just drag the name of the tab over to where you want it to be. Now, this is the part I wanted to show you that kind of affects stuff. So like, if you find that you keep doing this to yourself and you keep losing your panels, you can lock them, but you can't lock them on like free floating stuff like this. You actually have to put it over to here, like where there's this actual right toolbar. And I'm just gonna close properties. Go over here to the right toolbar, but you'll see that you can still do it. You can still screw it up. And a lot of times you'll do this with like the pen tool or if you've got a, a quick mouse, your mouse is set too fast, you'll flip it off that way but you can still move them. See, they still got these little zoom, these little move bars right here, these little vertical lines that you almost can't see. Um, what you wanna do is go over to Windows, go to Workspace and go to Lock Workspace. Now, when you try to move them, you can't. See, I'm trying to move them, I can't even reorganize them. So that's helpful if you find that you just keep screwing yourself over and you don't wanna do that anymore. And then you can unlock it, of course, to, do it re to get it back. If you want to have it so that you can click have this right here but not docked, you just drag the tab off and that's that fixes that. All right, so one more thing I wanted to show you because if this isn't your situation, there there is one more thing that's easy. It's a quick fix, just like the tab key. But like, let's say it looks like this. You've hit the F key too many times and you have to hit it like three times to get it that way. And what it does is it, it's called shadow boxing your art. It's like if you just want to look at it without anything on it, and then if you want to get rid of your uh, ru rulers that are going over here, it's just, uh, I think it's command on the Mac, but it's command or uh, control R to get rid of it. Now I've got a truly shadow boxed version here and that's awesome. Um, hit the F key again, takes me back to this and I can bring back my rulers just by hitting the control R again. And that's a really quick way to just look at something isolated. And that's really important as you're going through, especially if you're doing like social media stuff or something where you just want to look at it by itself, determine if it's where it's supposed to be and then move forward. So that's it. Um, I've gone over how to lock a workspace, how to get it back using the F key um, when you're trying to do shadow boxing, how to get back with the tab key, and also how to move your panels around and how to lock them so you don't screw yourself over. I do wanna point out one more thing. If you go to Windows and you go to Workspace, they have different versions of workspaces in here and they're awesome. I would highly recommend going through, like if you go to photography, you'll have the typical photography tools. Um, I have been working with Photoshop except for so long, I just leave it on essentials. And then as I'm working, I pull out the stuff that I'm going to use. So, and that just kind of stays open for me. And I can, you can save your own workspace. You can make your own workspace. I've just never felt the need to do that. It is very useful for somebody that may have to switch computers because you can bring that stuff with you. So just stuff to keep in mind. So please go ahead and like this video and consider subscribing. Um, it does help make the YouTube gods happy and I do appreciate it because it, it does help move the video up and make, make things happen. Um, but I also want to point out, if you go over to creationdepot.com forward slash email, I do have a weekly newsletter that goes out and it's a very, very short newsletter. It's like a paragraph. And what it does is it shows you how to update your website um, in 10 minute chunks. So that if you ever have to worry about your website getting getting to where it needs to be and maybe it's a little overwhelming, if you do it in 10 minute chunks a week, you'll be surprised how nice your website will look in a couple of months, you know, of doing very little here and there. And it includes maintenance stuff too. So like if you have to do your, you know, monthly backups of your website, that kind of thing, it's a reminder as well. So I hope that's helpful. Take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye.